I just couldn't wrap my mind around how if something was that simple, how could it be good, right? Because what did I do? I went to college at 16, double majored, and finished in three years. I went to medical school and turned 21 in medical school. So I know things to be hard. If it's worth doing, it's hard. So how can something be that simple and that good for you? It seems like a shortcut. I said, yeah, right. So my upline sponsor, Miss Lisa, one day looked at me and she said, what is wrong with you, child? And I was a fellow, and if you know what that means, that means you work 80 hours a week legally, <laughs> another 25 under the table, <laughs> and then you get home and, and, and then sleep. So what I did is I would get home about 9.30 or 10 o'clock at night. I would get up at 3, go run. I was training for a half marathon, get to work at 6 a.m., get home at 9 or 10 that night, finish dictating my charts for an hour, go to sleep, get up and do it again. And she said, I want you to try this. And I had a 32-ounce, 32, 32 that's big. I'm a small girl. took two hands, 32-ounce glass of Diet Coke in my hand and said, not putting it in my body and walked out. <laughs> but what she did was get my attention. And so I started thinking about it and reading it. And I'm a scientist, so what do I do? I started researching. And I said, whoa, yeah, OK, I'm going to try it. So I didn't want to be involved in anything. I wanted to try it. I, what did I do, 13 months before I decided? 13 months I tried it. Wow. That's a long time before you decide <laughs> it's a good thing to do. So 13 months I tried it. And what happened is I finished my training, and I went to Africa. And I went to work in South Africa, and I was doing trauma there. Well, when you have the privilege of going to another country on another continent, seeing a different way of, of doing life, it really reaches you. When I was a child growing up, my parents are really neat people. They do medical missions. So I had been to Guatemala, Honduras. I had traveled the world and seen people. It is hard to see a child blind because they don't have nutritional access to vitamin A. It is hard to see somebody who is permanently disabled because they didn't have proper nutrition. That really changes you. So I sort of, everything started coming together when I was in Africa because I started seeing kids who were sick. Somebody falls out of a tree, breaks their leg, and you know they will never work or be a productive member of their society. That's a hard thing. It changes you. And that's when I really started to understand Moringa. Somebody from Africa happened to win a Nobel Prize about Moringa, okay? It is the real thing. They found that when they ran out of Western, Western medication, you know, what is that? Chemical synthesized, yeah. something, something, right? right? They ran out, and somebody went to one of the traditional doctors and said, what do we do? They told her, you're going to give them Moringa. And so they did Moringa dosages, and all of these conditions started clearing up. So I got really excited. I said, well, this is what I want to give everybody in Africa. This is what I want to give everybody in Costa Rica and Honduras and Guatemala. Then I got home. Somebody here tell me what my first surgery was that I did in the United States. Amputation. Amputation. 45-year-old diabetic. Mm. 45. Mm. Diet mm. induced. I'm mean, going to just say it again. Who in here is younger than 45? About half. That means half these people could have lost their leg potentially at that age. And nobody in this room is old. So let's, you know, let that weigh on you for a second. And I really <coughs> thought, that's what we need here in this country. What's the most common cause of death? Anybody? Who said you? What did you say? Cancer, second. What's the number one before that? Heart disease. What's number three? Stroke. Stroke. What's number four? Ah. What's the most common reason people go to the doctor? Sleep. People go to the doctor because they hurt, right? Who in here has aches and pains or, you know, just it hurts? Something's bothering you. How many people are, who, Dr. Ashley? Where are you brilliant students? We know they're the smartest in the state of Alabama. That one, this one, mm -hmm. that one mine up there in the front. Mm -hmm. Oh, stand up. Yeah. All right, let's go. Let's go. All right. How many people are in the United States? No idea. No idea. Anybody know? 300 million. Roughly 300 million. How many people in this country suffer from a chronic disease? More than half. 50%. Over 133 million people suffer from a chronic disease. Of that, 35% miss activities because of their chronic disease. Now tell me, do we need proper nutrition in this country? Yes. 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 Okay. So you start taking it, and that's what I encourage people to do. This is, as much as it's a business opportunity and a life opportunity, a growth and a spiritual opportunity, and a way to improve yourself, it starts and it works because it starts with something that is pure and ambitious and holistic. It starts with nutrition. And your body can respond to nutrition. What did we do in old days? Now, I'll tell you, I grew up on a cattle ranch in Oklahoma. Our chickens were not raised in, in little 
Cajuns, all right? Well, my grandfather, nicknamed Hitch, said, darling, go get us a chicken. He meant, darling, go outside, fetch a chicken, pick it up by its neck, jerk it, and that's what we're going to eat after you clean, plug, and then fry it, okay? That was exercise. We are hunters and gatherers. Yeah, yeah y'all can sit down, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the way that it used to be. We're not that way. It's a different society, but that's how our body is trained to be. Watch a child. They eat when they're hungry. They don't eat when they're not hungry. And if you put things in front of them, they will give themselves what their body needs. This is basic science. So I know a few things, and I'm not a genius. I, I, am. I, I consider myself lucky, you know, being in the right place at the right time, hard work. But things that I learn to do is pay attention to people who are smarter than me. Listen to people who are smarter than me. And one of the first things I, I will tell you is that this is nutrition for your body that absorbs. So if you, all of this wonderful stuff we told you, this is plant-based nutrition. Your body is ready to, to take in all of this nutrition. If you heat something up, if you burn your arm, Miss Maya, what happens? You're in pain, right? What happens to the skin? It shrivels, it scabs, it dies, right? So when you take vitamins, medications, things like that, and you start heating them up, you're changing it. Once you start adding preservatives, you're changing its chemical structure. Your body can't even accept it. So here we have this wonderful opportunity to start our day with pure nutrition and start our day the right way. Well, I mean, you know, yeah, I make a lot of choices during the day that do include Reese's Buttercups. And uh, I'm down to me, like, have a Diet Coke a day. Uh, it's just a habit. It's just habit. But I start my day right. And everything in your life will start to change when you make the first choice. The second choice becomes, well, I'm working too hard to do this. I'm not going to do that. Then I'm going to go exercise because now I feel better. The inflammation is down. My knees don't hurt, so I'm going to start running. Well, what happens then? You start losing weight, right? So then everything starts to get better. It's about making one choice. Everybody in here can do one thing, right? You may not be able to do all the things, but every single thing starts with one thing. And who wouldn't want to do one thing that's healthy? There's nothing bad about it. Do not, do not choose to get your energy from energy drinks. They're heated, they're preserved, they're chemicals. There's things that I can't pronounce. I speak three languages. I went to school for 32 years. I can't pronounce it. Don't put it in your body. <laughs> okay? Deal? You don't need it. You don't need attention medicine. You don't need hypertension medicine or diabetes medicine. You just need basic nutrition. And I'm the first person to tell you, I was a skeptic. I waited. I learned. I watched. And I'm a believer. So if you have questions, please come ask me because I'm telling you the best part about the product is the product. Okay? Mm -hmm.